My name is Daniel Maximov. I'm Go21 PhD candidate. My project is called Safe Drilling of Calcified Carbonate. This project is a collaboration between Lundin Petroleum and Go21. Lundin Petroleum is the sponsored company of my project and they also provide this challenge. To understand how to drill safer in calcified carbonates, first we need to understand what kind of problems do we have there. Uh, there are some unique geological features in carbonates, for example, caves, fractures, permeable channels, and many others, all of them called karsts. The main uh, mechanism of karstification is dissolution of soluble rocks by meteoric water. As we can see in the animation, while we are drilling, it is likely to experience some losses of drilling mud into such channels. Uh, the good news is that we can use some lost circulation materials to plug these channels completely or even cement them if needed and then continue drilling. The bad news is that if we meet some really big cave, then the use of low circulation material will be slightly affected and then we need something else. In this case, we will experience some total losses of drilling mud, which is a critical uh, safety incident. Uh, in this project, we would like to predict, detect and avoid drilling into such intervals to increase overall safety of drilling in carbonates. Uh, so the first option is to use pre-drill analysis of geological uh, section based on seismic measurements. Uh, we can detect based on seismic data uh, position of some of the caves, but the problem is that some of them can fall beyond the resolution of seismic methods, so we cannot really detect them. Uh, in some regions on the Barents Sea region, uh, the average size of the caves can be less than a meter, so they are undetectable for seismic. Uh, and these caves can be equally dangerous to drill. The second option is to use managed pressure drilling technology and its modifications, such as pressurized mud cup drilling. In this case, we need to seal the well from the atmosphere. After that, we need to supply large amount of sacrificial fluid, and then we can continue drilling normally. We will be safe as our well is isolated from any gas kicks from the surface. Uh, the problem is that we cannot always convert the well into managed pressure drilling because in some regions there are restrictions on it. Also, we cannot always supply a large amount of sacrificial fluid. That's why we can go for another option. And the last option is to use logging while drilling data. Uh, these measurements are typically come from the sensors located on s with some offset from the drilling bit, as we can see here. They can give us plenty of information about, forma uh, about rock properties around the tool, as well as information about cars uh, surrounding the borehole. This is very important because the detection of single cars form can be a good indicator of possible detection of many other cars form in this region because geological conditions that are favorable for the development of single karst form in this region will be also favorable for the development of many other karst form in the same region. Uh, that's why it is, it is really important to detect caves even around the tool. But we cannot really see ahead of the bit with this technology. That's why we come up with another solution. So we found that formation properties around the cave are typically slightly different from the other interval. Uh, for example, here we can find some signs of cave roof collapse. This signs called brackets. This is a special type of rocks formed from uh, angular objects cemented together. Also, we can find some signs of rock dissolution, which forms fluvial channels of different sizes and shapes. Uh, we performed an analysis of the entire field in the Barents Sea region. As we can see in the figure, the intervals of brackets. Uh, marked along the well trajectories, in some cases preceded to the interval of caves. Uh, so how can we use this information when we are drilling? Uh, well, our drill strings is typically behave differently in these intervals. For example, we can expect some increase in speed of drilling or changes in mud losses profile or also increase in shock and vibrations level. Uh, all of this can be an important indicators of approaching dangers for drilling interval of karstification. So in this project, we reduce the risk of sudden encountering of karst through pre-drill analysis of geological section and recognition of karst patterns in real-time drilling data. Thank you for your attention.